What's up, Dirty Cones? Um, okay, bear with me. This is a thought in progress. Uh, much like the rest of my um, <laughs> talks to you. But uh, this is like an actual... Most of the time I have a little bit more than what I'm going on. I got Love Not Fear with Jim Carrey. Uh, I've got... I, I guess I'm about to get political or something. But my thoughts on equality and things of that nature. Um, and how I now have more fans really friends because we're all in this together, little dirty cones. This is a, uh, I am your sheepdog, you are my flock, I will keep you safe, uh, and I will guide you the best way I can, and I'm going to find other sheepdogs that, that I know are good sheepdogs, and I, I hope to get something big and non-profit-ish going where we're helping cones, and and Cones Helping Cones with the DirtyCone.com uh, Cone Berenstain Bear and uh, Anthony doing good things out there sharing love for the Dirty Cones so check out DirtyCones.com uh, The Others May Live Foundation always a good thing helping out everybody and um, Blair Dolls really really good people and uh, the yogis and the boo-boos out there in the world doing good things um, all right so here's my all right so say you're you and you have a daughter or a son maybe identifies as not being a daughter or a son and identifies your daughter thinks that she's a boy, your boy thinks he's a girl, uh, you know, whatever. Um, how would you treat them? How would you want them to be treated? This is, this is your family. This is so the, the way that people are treating people who are different. We're all different. I mean, everybody's different. I mean, define normal, right? Normal is not, there is no normal. Everybody's weird, everybody's got quirks, everybody's got isms, and then these create schisms, and then we're all at each other's throats because we don't have uh, the common sense or the common courtesy to, to be decent to each other. Um, but if you're gonna be a PJ, much like a samurai warrior, you know, or a Shaolin monk, you gotta practice Bushido, and Bushido favors, um, compassion. How, how can you fight somebody, you only hate somebody because you're fighting them, you're only fighting them because you hate them. If, like Lao Tzu, if you can turn your enemies into your friends, you are the greatest warrior. And uh, that's what we need to do. You know, the uh, Way of the Peaceful Warrior, which if you guys get a chance, there's an awesome book that, you know, I got when I was 18, someone gave it to me, and uh, I, I don't know, I wasn't ready to read it. And then when I was about 21, I read it right before I joined Pararescue, and I was like, oh my God, this book is amazing. And so, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior, good book, check it out. Uh, and... If the question is, is it better to be feared or loved, it's better to be loved. Because with love comes respect. And so all we gotta do is respect each other, treat each other equally, and say, you know what, would I treat my my own family member like this? And maybe the answer is yes, maybe you treat your family members bad. Um, you know, I, I left home when I found out my parents were legs. So I totally understand that, but we are elite, but not elitists. You know, we're not better than anybody else. We live to serve the planet. That's what a PJ is. You, you, you may work for the United States government, but you are 
an angel of mercy and are supposed to do good things for everybody, anyone, anywhere, anytime. For the planet. I wanted to make sure that that sunk in because that's how important this job is. You know, it's not for everybody. Uh, and it's a very tough job on you, but it's an honor, it's a privilege, it's all those things, you know, that make Pararescue beautiful. And, uh, you should try it. If you want to, do it. If you don't want to, don't do it. But, uh, and then the first rule of Pararescue is we don't talk about Pararescue. So, we don't end up, uh, like everybody else. But since there's only, like, 1,950 of you, uh, it's a secret, you know. And, which is pretty cool, because I think there have been just about 33, 3,400 PJs in history. And, you know, I got half of that following me. I, I think it's not a bad niche market. Like I said, I got more fans than Falco. Uh, check out Rock Me Amadeus. Awesome song. Very 1986-ish. Uh, but a, a really good song. I mean, Fal Falco's only hit. The other one sucked, but um, the entire album sucked, but that song was pretty good. So, one hit wonder. Anyway, back to reality. Um, you know, uh, so I think what we really, or what we think is, we think we're all alone. We think that um, nobody else is suffering, nobody else is hurting. It's just me. You know, look at that guy or look at that girl. They've got it all together. Nothing's going wrong or wrong for them. Uh, they're perfect. And you could not be any further than the truth. I do not think that anybody is having it easy. We're, we're all in this together. Nine Inch Nails, good song. Um, and we're not... We're not alone. You're not the only one suffering. And so suffer in peace knowing that everybody's suffering. You know, nobody's got it easy. Everything's hard. And that's training. Train, 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 practice, practice, practice. Uh, work hard and you'll get there. Run that extra lap. When you're running it and you're like, oh, I'm tired, don't slow down. Don't allow yourself to slow down. Use your momentum, not the momentum of mediocrity that continues most of this planet, but the momentum of, oh, I'm going someplace, right? There's not even a word for, for that desire, the passion, the will, the willpower is everything. It'll get you through anything. How bad do you want it? Right? Um, there, there's a word that the Lakota have for like right in your loins where your soul sits. And I'm forgetting the word at this moment. But there has a powerful, you know, I, in uh, Eastern, it's your chakra. It's, you got to dig deep. It's your ganas that you're just like, I'm not going to fail. I'm not going to let these people down. I'm going to do the right thing. And I want to save some lives. And that's what it's all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Sorry, I'm just rolling with it tonight. Um, I love you guys. You guys, uh, you motivate me to be a better person and, and try to help you guys. I want to help you. Um, you know, I want you to succeed if you want to succeed. If, if you don't want this, then I don't want it for you. But I, I hope that you all get what you want, you know. And if you don't get what you want, I hope you get what you need. <laughs> it's a Stone Song reference way before you guys were born. Um, but it's a really good song. You can't always get what you want. Beautiful song. And, uh, yeah. All right, a lot of musical references tonight. I have no idea why. But look at the world. Admit that it's a beautiful place. It's worth living for. It's worth dying for. It's worth everything. We just can't give up. Can't give in. Never quit. Just keep moving forward. Forward ever, backward never. Um, all that stuff. Think positive. And, um... Alright, so uh, there's a guy, there's a cone in uh, Panama City Beach. There's a cone in Phoenix, I saw that. 
so I'm going to San Diego. I have not picked a date, but uh, the the more info about that is if I can get a date together, then we'll go. Um, I will be in Kansas City, Kansas or Missouri or basically Scott Air Force Base uh, the 26th through the 29th of June. So if you're in that area, uh, Cone uh, Beers Around for Everybody is uh, got a Cone Fit group there, nine strong. So it's a little bastion of, of Conedom there so if you're uh, in that area maybe swing on by the more the merrier um, I think that's it well there were, there were some other people and I totally apologize and I'll have to I'll sort of read down below in the comments and I'll put the people I forgot uh, once again I apologize to all the people who sent me messages so Alright, so I might as well, uh, to get a hold of me, email me at M-A-H-R-O-N-E-Y at yahoo.com and, oh, yahoo, <laughs> I might as well put my email out there because I feel bad that you guys sent me messages and I didn't even think to check there, so I'm working on it. Um, so I think that's about it. I, um, love not fear and uh, alright I'll leave you a story I think I've, I've said it before but it was, a, it was a beautiful story that Robin Williams told about um, Richard, well, Richard Pryor told this joke and so Robin Williams told this joke and uh, it's it's not so much a joke as it's just a I think a beautiful sentiment, sentiment. and so um God comes down and he's like, hey, where's my boy? Where's Jesus, you know? And uh, everyone's like, well, should we tell him? He's like, tell me what? He's like, well, we we killed him. And God gets angry and he's like, whoa. He's like, all right, I'm leaving you love. But if you fuck that up, I'm done with you. And I think that's that's a perfect sentiment. You know what? We got love. It's it's there. It's real. Use it to make the world a better place. You know, be a little bit less of an asshole to somebody. And if everybody was a little bit less, you know, self-aware, absorbed, uh, and paid a little bit more attention, and was a little more service before self. And I'm talking service to the planet. You know, recycle. I like composting. You know, plant a garden. Uh, get back to the plant a little bit. That's, I mean, that's why I joined Pararescue. I, I, this is my goal to give back to America. To say thank you for my freedom. Thank you for allowing me to surf waves. Thank you for um, letting me see the world. And, and see beautiful sunsets. Meet great people. And uh, <clears throat> so it's funny. Growing up. I, I was surf. I was surf Palisades. It's just north of St. Anne's, just north of Bismo. Uh, beautiful surf spot. We used to have a place outside of it called Turtles, and the waves would break way far out there. But this is way before they started developing the land and putting dirt in the crap. But Turtles used to be a really awesome spot to surf. And um, so I grew up surfing there since about 15. And there was this guy who was always there. His name was Larry. Larry was awesome. Larry would had a mullet blonde beach blonde hair and was straight out of like 1972 Cocoa Beach I mean he looked like he stepped out of the surfer magazine from 1972 Cocoa Beach just you know went to Ron John's when it was just a little place you know surfed 17th street and you know second light and everything I mean just and I have a special place in my heart for Cocoa Beach because that's my reserve unit and that's where I used to always surf with Doug Eccleston and slept in my car and surfed with Jack Hamilton and just had a blast um, growing up as a young PJ and we would drive down to Cocoa Beach every weekend but so I grew up surfing with Larry and so I had this Cocoa Beach bond to it before I had the Cocoa Beach bond and I surf no <laughs> I served 
so Larry could surf because Larry was out there living free, sleeping on the beach, uh, having a good time, you know, when other people were too concerned with stupid shit, you know, Larry was like, dude, waves were good, he'd tell me how all the, you know, he never missed a swell there, and uh, I tried not to, but, you know, after you join the Air Force, you're gone a lot, so I missed a lot of swells, but... That's all right because they're bringing the Inland Surf Park to Austin, where I will be surfing. So I'm very excited. And uh, so yeah, so you know what? I, I also served so people could be jerks to each other because that's the American dream is you can do whatever you want. Um, I think you gotta you gotta not hyphenate, you gotta, you know, and it's not a curtailment of your amendments and your freedom to do whatever you want, but just don't hurt any other people, and don't put your freedom, I have freedom to be free from your freedom, and you have freedom to be free from my freedom, and so if we all just live peacefully and happily, I know it sounds like a utopia, but just don't bug other people, don't start no shit, won't be no shit, ta-da, you know, um, so... One of my favorite surf movies, Big Wednesday. Um, I'm going to leave you with this. One uh, of the characters would say, stay casual. And it, I, I like that as a, as a motto. But I turned, for me, it's I'm casually aggressive or aggressively casual. And it uh, depends on what I got to be, you know. But you dominate every room you go into and peacefully, of course. Uh, unless you're not there to be peacefully, then you dominate the way you need to, but you dominate every room you go into, and you just be you, just let your light shine, you know, let your light shine, <laughs> and, uh, just be you, that's it, and if everyone's just happy with themselves, you know, I was, oh, who was it, they were talking about, they, they spent their entire, half their life trying to be normal, so people would like them, and, and then they weren't living, and then at the end, they're like, ah, 94-year-old woman says that the, the one thing that she likes is she she has no peer pressure, you know, because <laughs> nobody left, you're still alive, so fuck it, whatever, be happy, um, save people, and uh, make the world a better place, and that's the secret to Pair Rescue. So, uh, hope training's going well. Hope you are doing good. Thank you if you have stuck with me for this long. Um, both figuratively and actually in the uh, length of time. I know some of you guys have been here for a while talking to me. And uh, keep asking the conversations. And let's just keep uh, loving, living, rescuing. Booyah.